SolidWorks Enterprise PDM allows you to automate your company's administrative processes like approvals and sign-offs by utilizing a graphical modeling tool to build customized workflows. These workflows can be simple or very complicated to suit your company's requirements. Let's take a look at a simple workflow that was created with Enterprise PDM. The gold boxes represent workflow states and the blue boxes represent transitions. Each state and transition can have their own permissions, notifications and actions that can be performed. For this workflow, all new documents start out in the under editing state and when complete, they are submitted for approval. Only users in the engineers and managers groups have permissions to use this transition. This transition automatically sends a notification to the manager's group and a task is automatically triggered to perform a SOLIDWORKS design check before it moves on to the waiting for approval state. In this state, a file has limited rights. It can be viewed or shared, but not checked out or deleted. From here, the file can be sent back for additional editing with the notification going to the modifier or passed on for approval. Only users in the manager's group have permission to use these transitions. With the past approval transition, the engineer is notified. The document's revision is automatically bumped, the approve by and date variables are set, and a PDF is automatically created for any drawing documents. It is then pushed to the approve state, where no one has permissions to make edits to the file. Finally, changes can only be proposed by a manager, and a notification goes to the engineer's group. So let's see how this automation works in action. Our manager, Neil, has assigned a task to make a change to a part. So when we log in as Mark, the engineer, we receive a notification from Neil identifying the affected files and a description of the change. Clicking the hyperlink opens the file, and I choose to check it out to make the requested change. Let's change the length of the arm from 250 to 350 millimeters. Notice that the title block has this part at revision A and there is no approved information. From here, we can check it in and submit it for approval, adding pertinent comments along the way. Remember from the workflow earlier, this state change triggers a notification to the manager and executes a design checker task. Since Mark, the engineer, has no permissions to this file in this state, he cannot check it out or change its state. Now let's log in as Neil, the manager. Neil gets the notification from Mark indicating the change was made and can use SOLIDWORKS or the eDrawings viewer to verify that the change was made properly. Once satisfied, he can then pass approval on the file. During this state change, the revision is bumped the approved by and date are added, and a PDF file is created for manufacturing. Notice that the integrated viewer even shows that the revision on the title block has been updated and the approval information has been added. This was just a simple example to demonstrate just how easy it is to automate your workflow with SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. SOLIDWORKS applications provide great capabilities you can use right away for design, simulation, communication, and file management to work faster and make your products better. Explore all the features in the demo library or contact your nearest SOLIDWORKS reseller.